Hi everyone, I wanted to show you how to create a listing using NJMLS. Once you log into NJMLS, you're going to scroll over to this listing maintenance and choose listing agreement. From here, you'll choose the county in which your listing is. Then after that, you will click on the magnifying glass that brings up all the list of towns. You'll choose the town from here. Then you will choose what type of listing it is, residential, two to four family, condo co-op, a rental, commercial, whatever you're listing. I'm clicking on residential. You're brought to another screen. You can either put the owner's name in or you can put the address in. You can click a little magnifying glass and find the street name or you can type the street name in the box, either or. After that, you will click next, which is down here underneath everything or up to your right. It then brings you to another screen which shows you the property address, the city, and the owner's name for you to verify everything. Once you know that that is correct, you will hit autofill. From here, you are brought to the listing form that needs to be filled out. You can enter your price in, enter directions, whatever you're choosing to write in here. You enter your listing dates. Uh, exceptions will be always be no. Owner's phone number. You can enter your phone number here. Bunch of ones, bunch of fives, bunch of zeros. We usually don't input the owner's actual phone number on the MLS. We're going to scroll to the next section. Agency disclosure. You're working as a seller's agent. This here is commission. What you are giving out to another agent that is bringing the buyer. That's whatever you agree on and choose. You'll do the same thing in the transaction area. The comp sub-agent we don't give out to, so that's always zero. Dual commission arrangement. This means that you've agreed to an overall 5% commission, but if you bring the buyer, you're going to reduce your commission to 4% or give the seller a deal. So it's a yes or a no. I'm going to choose yes. Agreement type. Exclusive right to sell means this will be posted on the MLS. Exclusive agency means this will not be posted on the MLS. Built prior to 78. We know it needs a lead, it's going to ask you for a reason if there's lead paint. If so, a little box will alert you that you need the lead paint form on here. So if that's the case, lead paint disclosure, yes, there will be one on file. If not, you'll be fined by the MLS. Are you doing a seller's disclosure? Yes or no? I'm choosing no. Potential short sale, yes or no? Number of rooms. How many rooms are there? Rooms plus other rooms in the homes. This does not include bathrooms. Number of bedrooms, how many full baths, master bath, style of home, Cape Cod, colonial, ranch, whatever it might be, sub-style, center hall, tutor, side hall, whatever it is. Taxes, you can pull this from the tax record or from realist. Sewer, who's responsible for it? It's generally municipal unless you're in Upper Sussex County. Ask your clients to be sure. Same thing for water source. That's not a well. What rooms are on the first floor? And what rooms are on the second floor? This is where you fill this information in. Easements, generally there are none. Municipal assessments, no. Solar, yes or no. Is it for lease, yes or no. Basic questions here. Do you want a photo taken by the MLS? We generally do that ourselves, so the answer is no. Possession. When will the person take ownership of the property from when they give the offer? Generally, it's 31 to 60 days, sometimes 61 to 90. Showing instructions. How do you want to be contacted? Do the showings begin the day of the listing? That's what you'd enter here. You enter your showing instructions, any specific remarks to the agents. This is the description of the property. We'll go in customer remarks and internet remarks. Down in this yellow section is more detailed information about the home. You'd have to go through each category and answer the questions. I'm going to leave that blank for now. And then I'm going to scroll up just a little bit and hit partially save and continue. So now it's saved in your MLS in a partial save. From here, you can print this listing agreement. It brings you to a new page where it shows you your listing dates. One is the possession I always put to be determined because we don't know. This box is your overall commission. Down here, how are you operating as an agent? You're operating as a dual disclosed, so it's always yes. After the listing expires, 
How many days does someone have to come to you that sold the property that you'll still receive the commission? I generally do 60 days. From here, you input your owner's name and their phone number. Yes, you do need to put their phone number because the MLS has the right to come check to make sure that they really want to sell their home. From here, you can hit next and you can include the worksheet, which is that detailed information on the bottom, or you can just print the agreement. I downloaded the agreement and now I am going to go over to my DocuSign and I'm going to go into the document section of where my listing is, hit add, click on computer, go to the download section, and now I'm going to look for the listing that I just did. Here it is. And now I've uploaded my listing agreement. Now, I do not have to create a listing agreement in DocuSign and NJ. This just saves me an entire step. So when I wanna send this out for signature, I can hit select all on all these documents that need to go out, click on envelope, and wait for it to load everything. Hit pre-tagged roles, select my seller, select me as the listing agent, hit add selected. For some reason, it won't let me add me as the uh, listing agent. Hold on, let's try that again. There we go, let's try that again. Odd. Okay, now let's clear that out. Little error, that's all right, it happens. And now I'm also going to go to room participants and add my broker, since I added my broker. I'm gonna hit next. Because I chose pre-tagged roles, it's going to assign everything. So we're getting a little bit of doc to sign with this NJ listing agreement. It'll assign to where my seller needs to sign on all these documents as we scroll through them all where I need to sign some of them. I need to add myself manually in here, although I've disappeared. But I'm just gonna scroll down to the listing agreement for a second, and you can see that the listing agreement is already populated. You have your directions here, your listing price, your listing dates. So all you'll need to do from this point is manually add signatures and dates for you, the sellers, and your broker, and you're off and running. DocuSign is giving me an issue at the moment. Um, which happens, so I'm gonna just show you, I'm gonna add my broker's signature and the spots that they need to go in your sellers. And then your sellers will get everything, add the date mark, you can adjust where these are. This will save you so much time by creating your listing agreement on NJ's website, instead of manually bringing in the document into DocuSign or DotLoop, whatever you're currently using, and then filling the whole form out Exactly what you fill out online is what is going to be in here. Just saves you one extra step and helps you be a more efficient agent. And then once all your signatures and everything are in your here, you'll just hit send and everybody will receive all the documents at once. I hope this was very helpful to all of you.